One announcement we got was at Comic Con. They announced that um, was his name Daniel Daniel Diedman. Did, yeah, did, did, did I think it's Diedman? Yeah. Um, so he is going to be playing Tyson. He's 28 years old, which is a little bit older than the casting call. Well, a little bit. Um, it's older than the casting call that they put out. But when you see the picture that, of him and Walker sitting next to each other, it kind of makes sense. A yeah. little bit, even just from that. The story that I loved that they did in one of the interviews somewhere that Walker said was he came to like the chemistry reads that he, so, and they played like a video at Comic-Con with Daniel like talking to the audience and saying how excited he was. And I thought that he had a cross on. And I was like, oh God, Jesus, like literally Jesus. Like I get tired of like Uber Christians, as you know and understand and so i was like annoyed by that no it was a poseidon necklace oh. he showed he so someone gave walker the same poseidon necklace when he was filming like season one and so he shows up to the chemistry reads with the same poseidon poseidon necklace as walker without like that was not a plan he didn't know that beforehand he just wears that all the time because he loves Percy Jackson. And I guess they said he has a production company that is named like, that is named after Poseidon oh. and stuff. And so he's another person who like absolutely loved these books. And I'm sure found out that they were trying out for parts and did whatever he could with the connections he has with their acting coach to be able to try out, even though he is much older than like the age of the people they would be looking for. Mm -hmm. um, but he does look a lot like Walker enough like that. He also looks similar to like the drawing they did for Tyson, which is just weird. But he also, I guess the movie that he was in that I saw people talking about, he was in this movie called The Half of It that people really liked. And um, people said that he, I read like some reviews of it where they were saying that he was like the heart of the movie, where basically his character in that movie is this high school student that is wanting to write a poem to um to like uh impress the girl that he likes and he go he keeps going to this other character that's another girl in the movie to get advice about how to be a better writer and to write a better poem and he doesn't realize that the girl that he's going to advice with also has a crush on the same girl oh. <laughs> that he wants to like ask out and so it's very like a sweet innocent like naive like like people use like him or whatever but he's very like heartfelt and sweet sort of role and that he was like the thing in that movie that people really liked and was like why people really liked that movie and i was like yeah that does that's exactly the kind of person you would need to be tyson mm -hmm. i just have to let like i just have to laugh at the like spoiler news source being totally wrong about its age <laughs> because daniel's 28 and it is so it this is just me being like a petty bitch and i don't care if i'm being petty or not but i think it is so funny when like spoiler sources kind of play these games with like productions like when they po they posted recently about how they were casting for like the gray sisters mm -hmm. And when they announced that they they like posted something being like Percy Jackson news, like coming in a couple hours and like Becky Riordan, who, <laughs> who is Rick's wife, AKA Annabeth. And this is like the most Annabeth thing she can do responds to the tweet with like question marks, like what? And she wrote like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and everyone was just, I was like laughing so hard that Becky was like, what are you doing? What news is coming out in an hour? Like there is no news that should be coming out in an hour. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was just, that was so funny that she just like called them out on their shit like that. And so I thought it was so funny that this spoiler source put out those casting calls where they said that Tyson would be 15 to 18 years old. And then they cast somebody who's 28, <laughs> even though he's ob obviously they would never have cast him if he wasn't right for the role and all that kind of stuff. I can see how, because of his connections with the writing, with the acting coach, that if they didn't feel like any, anyone was like good enough to be Tyson, that they would have, you know, opened it up to other people like him and ended up going with him, especially after the 
whole wearing the same decided necklace as Walker thing. That's just weird how so many people involved in this show, like, are absolutely obsessed with the books like, like we are. Mm -hmm. um, it's just one of those weird things that keeps happening. But anyway, um, it was just so funny how they posted their information and then it ended up being like 7 million percent wrong and they never acknowledged that. <laughs> they just like posted, oh, so-and-so is Tyson. And I was like, oh, you're not gonna like comment about how you're like the age that you said that they were gonna be in your in your casting calls was completely, <laughs> completely wrong. <laughs> just wow. nothing about that. No, I just think it's so funny because I, I I know too much about spoilers after all these years of reading them that I know that the whoever the like the website guy who does who's doing this is like a very obvious like comic book fan. And so I think he just teamed up with like the Twitter page that everybody follows for news to try to do Percy news. But so far, all he knows is to read the casting calls that show up on the websites that actors use that already have agents and like i don't remember what those websites are anymore but that's clearly what they're using and that doesn't say that the information that they get is necessarily wrong but it's also a thing of like they could have put out these casting calls like in like february mm -hmm. and they might not even be accurate anymore because they might have changed their mind about what they actually wanted to do after they started seeing people and like figuring out what they wanted the role to be and so it's one of those things of like, yeah, you can like post casting calls that you find on a website that anyone could find who knows anything about the industry, but you're wrong about that too. <laughs> so I just think it's funny that, that they're trying to like toe that line with this production of trying to like give out spoilers for it, but, but also like Annabeth or Becky is calling you out on your shit in real time. Like, this is a production where people genuinely care about what they're making. Like everyone who is making the show loves the book so much and they want it to be good, like so badly that you're not going to be able to fuck around with spoilers without them like calling you out on it and being like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you ruining like the production and stuff and the marketing and whatever else we want to do for this show by giving this stuff away way beforehand? Like that's not going to work for something like this because they actually care about what they're making. This isn't like a vapid Hollywood project that brings back Robert Downey Jr. for no reason. Like, talk about Marvel movies. They're completely emotionally, vapidly empty. They have no idea what the hell they're doing anymore. But like this sort of thing, actually, everyone involved with it cares a lot about what they're doing. And they try really hard to make it right. And so it's just as always funny to me when I see real life Annabeth call them out on their shit. <laughs> and, then they end up, and then they end up being wrong. Yeah, I'm just like, that is so funny. I'm going to like stop listening to you now <laughs> because I'm not even sure at the, after that. I was like, obviously, Thalia is going to be cast. They've said that Mytho Magic, like, you know, account, like I said, set, responded to somebody saying that they just aren't ready to announce who is going to be her yet, that they're still figuring out like contracts and whatever, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Like she wouldn't be around for filming for the early episodes anyway. So she yeah. wouldn't it's film for like Christmas time or something anyway. Well, and she probably wouldn't need to be filming at the same time as everybody else because at most she's going to be in flashbacks and like the end scene will probably have a, a good chunk of the cast on it. So that probably happens later. Yeah, like she doesn't need to be They're in like boot camp right now where they're like having a lot of meetings talking about their characters and like the development they do this season and learning like fighting stuff, learning underwater scenes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like, she doesn't have to be there for any of that stuff anyway. Yeah. And so that like announcing her casting can be a little bit later. I always love when spoiler sources are wrong and like just act and just try to be like, anyway, <laughs> don't want to admit it. Don't look over here. <laughs> like anyway, I said Tyson would be a teenager and now he's almost 30. <laughs> Like the amount of times that I Googled to make sure that I was getting the right actor, right? Because the, the like blog of like their Comic-Con panel just said the actor's name and said what movie he was in. But I was just like, is this right? Because he was born in 1996. That is so old for this, for this, like this one thing that is very old. And I was just like, 
I remember I asked like another Percy Jackson friend that was I was talking to when they were saying it. I was like, is this the right person? <laughs> and they were like, it has to be. And I was like, okay, I'm just like making sure because he's actually pretty old. <laughs> like yeah. for the for this. Like he, he will be great regardless. Like Tyson he he can look like innocent and stuff without without actually being a teenager and stuff. It's just it was just like funny how that was not at all what I was expecting, but it's also weirdly making me a little bit happy about the mean people like online because they probably won't mess too much with a literal adult. Yeah. It's like weirdly they they go after kids more, which is stupid, but that's what they do. And so they probably won't go, go after him as much because he's an actual adult and could probably beat them up. Yeah. <laughs> 